I've always been curious if all of these cheap laptop cooling fans you see on Amazon actually do anything to improve PC performance. So in the name of science, I went ahead and purchased this unit. It's a little bit different than the majority of designs because instead of being a pad that sits underneath your laptop with fans built into it, this is one large fan that sits behind your laptop and blows air underneath the machine. And the first thing I did was test out how much airflow this actually generates. And to my surprise, this does move a healthy amount of air. Another key thing about this design is that it does lift up the back of the laptop. This in and of itself adds a lot of airflow and circulation to the bottom of the laptop where the built-in fans are located. And here's a sound test of the actual fan. The final thing to mention about this design is that there's a dial on the left hand side and you have three power modes, low, medium, and high. For all of my testing, I had this in the high fan setting mode and it does connect to your laptop via USB-A, which comes out on the right side of the unit. So the laptop I use this on is my HP Victus, which is a budget gaming laptop. It has a six core AMD CPU and a RTX 2050 graphics card. And I booted up two games, Overwatch and Counter-Strike. And first I played the games normally on the laptop without the cooling fan. I played for 10 minutes so that way the laptop can reach its maximum temperature. And then I recorded both the GPU temperature and the frame rate. Then I put the laptop on the cooling fan and I did the same exact test. And the results were somewhat surprising because my FPS really did not change in any noticeable way, but my GPU temperature definitely did have an impact. So across both games, my GPU temperature fell by about five degrees Celsius between having the fan versus not having the fan. Now, a couple things to note about this result. If your laptop struggles with thermals, so if overheating is an issue for you, then you might actually see a benefit to the, the frame rate. My laptop, the HP Victus, can play these games without any thermal throttling. I have no issues. And that's probably why I did not see a performance benefit, even though this did technically help with the cooling. But even if your laptop doesn't struggle with thermal issues, having the GPU run five degrees Celsius cooler is a good thing for the overall health and longevity of the system. Now, I did wanna conduct one final test to see whether or not the benefits came from having the fan or by simply lifting up the back of the laptop. So I ran the same test. This time, the laptop was always on this fan with the back being lifted up. But during my first run, I had the fan off and on the second run, the fan was actually on. And this time, there was essentially no difference in performance. If anything, maybe one degree Celsius. So that tells me if you want to have a better cooling on your laptop, the best thing you can do is simply lift up the back of the laptop to allow the internal fans to work better. Now, I think I would still recommend this product because it's not that much more expensive than a regular laptop stand and you get the benefit of the, the fan, which could in some cases, especially if your system struggles thermally, be of benefit. The key thing here is that the difference is minor, and I would recommend not overpaying for a laptop stand just because it has a fan built in.